Last Sunday, a man, 20-year-old Latrell Allen, was apparently carrying a gun, allegedly carrying a gun. The police were informed, and with all the murders and shootings in Chicago, they respond to those calls of firearms. Mr. Allen, according to the cops, fled and then shot at police. Police showed the public the gun. It was shot. Bullets did come out of it. Ballistic show. And whether or not it was Allen's, well, he was the only guy there. So the gun was found on the ground after Allen was shot by the police. He was not killed. All right. Now, Allen's got a record. Some say he's a gang member. I haven't been able to confirm that. And there is no question that if an alleged criminal shoots at a law enforcement officer, that officer has the right to shoot back. Not Chicago. No. Okay. So riots break out. Looting breaks out. You saw the pictures. We'll run a few more now. $60 $60 million in damage on Sunday. $60 million. And you can see these people are breaking into stores. They're looting. Um, this is not the poor neighborhood. This is the Miracle Mile, the so-called Miracle Mile, all right, on the lake in Chicago. $60 million in damage. 13 police officers injured. 100 people arrested. Even The far, far, far left mayor of Chicago, Lori Lightfoot, was outraged. Go. Let's be clear. We are coming for you. We are already at work in finding you, and we intend to hold you accountable for your actions. I don't care. I do not care. Whatever justification was given for this, there is no justification for criminal behavior ever. All right, I don't believe that looters are going to be held accountable. If they are, I'll be very, very surprised. So what they need is to arrest 100 of them and perp walk them. Then I'll believe you. But is that going to happen? No. Why? Because the Black Lives Matter movement doesn't want it to happen. So after the looting, after the 13 cops are hurt, after all of this, here's what Black Lives Matter Chicago put out a statement, all right? Quote, yesterday, Chicago Police Department shot and nearly killed a young black person in Inglewood and then arrested 100 protesters downtown for expressing their righteous anger. As we post a statement, CPD, Chicago Police Department, continues to patrol and terrorize black communities. Mayor Lightfoot continues to side with capital and private property over the black people of Chicago, unquote. Did you get the private property and capital? This is from the communist group, the Marxist group, Black Lives Matter. Now, the person who runs this in Chicago is named Aislinn Pulley, all right? She is also the co-executive director of the Chicago Torture Justice Center. All right. Um, That is an organization that seeks to address, quote, the traumas of police violence and institutional racism through access to healing and wellness services, unquote. Okay, fine. So we know what this is. All right. This is another attempt by the Black Lives Matter movement to justify criminal conduct. There's no doubt about it, no two sides to the story. Bill O'Reilly is back on TV and only on The First. No Spin News, every weeknight at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on The First. 